If you wanna make talking AI videos with your AI twin, keep watching. Hey y'all, so before we jump in, I want you to know who I am. So my name is Jasmine, I'm an Aquarius. So I've been in business for about 15 years. I've been a business coach for five, and I love AI. So on the left, that is my AI twin that hopefully you created before you came here. Um, if you did not, the course is inside of my community, but hopefully you have one. If not, you can join the community and you could learn how to do it, or you can go on YouTube to learn how to make it. We have been doing what's on the right. So I'm teaching you how to actually make it talk. Okay? It's just two wings. So one wing is creativity. So AI photos, AI videos, all that fun stuff. And then on the right wing, you're going to learn AI for business. So if you're into more backend stuff, you want to do automations, you heard a mini chat, things like that, that stuff will be inside of that too. So we're going to start off in a tool called WIS. Now, just so that you know, there are multiple methods in order to make your AI twin or your influence to talk, okay? So this is method one. So we're going to come inside the WIS tool, and then you're going to enter the tool. You are going to look to this banner to your left, okay? And you're going to open it up. Now, you have three boxes where you can enter things in, okay? So you're going to enter the subject. All right. And if you don't have a subject, you can enter the text to create one. And if, But if you try to create a picture in here, it may not come out the way you want it to. So we're going to be careful with that. <laughs> so you're going to hit the bottom button, which is the upload an image. OK. And it'll go if you on your computer, it's going to go to your files. If you're on your phone, it'll go to your gallery. Boom. That's me. OK. And that's my AI picture that I made. And I taught exactly how to do that in my AI twin course that's in the community. So we're going to let that load. Anybody that's going along, I won't rush so that you can do it as well. Let it load. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add your background to where you want to be standing. So you may be wanting to stand at a beach. You may be wanting to stand in a conference room. You might want to be standing in the front of your house, wherever you want to stand for your video to be talking. Now, most times, let's just say that you're using this video as a branded video. You want to promote something. You want somebody to come somewhere, pick a background that makes sense to that thing. So you're going to go to scene and then you're going to upload the image right here on the left. It's going to go back to your files and then you'll choose the background. I got this picture off Google. So I went to Google.com and I typed in parking garage. I looked through the pictures. I right clicked it and I say it's about computer. So you can get pictures off Google. You can get pictures off Pinterest. Uh, hell, you can screenshot a picture off Facebook or Instagram, whatever background you want. Now, whenever you do darker backgrounds in WIS for the version that we're doing today, making your avatar talk, it's going to be a little choppier and cheaper looking because of the dark background. So I do recommend you choose a light background. When I did a dark parking garage, uh, I don't know who I thought I was. It looked a fool. It, it was a four. So we're not going to do that. We're not doing it. So we're going to go to the parking garage. Very simple. So we're going to let that load up. Now, just so you know, if you want to come in here to do other things, you can change your clothes and whisk. Whisk is almost like a bowl. And everything that you put in is ingredients. And then it literally whisk it up and it gives you an output. So say I didn't want to wear that orange outfit and I wanted to have on a pink outfit like that. If I had the picture of the pink outfit, and you want to be neck down, so I'll show you. So, dress. So if I want to put this dress on and I save this picture, I would crop it right above her neck so it gets none of her face. Because in whisk, you don't want it to pull any face of something like this. So if you wanted to change clothes, you would go get an outfit of anything that you want to wear. And you would hit the plus button and add it as a second subject. Style, you leave blank. So avatar and background for scene. My two ingredients. Now, you're going to come over here to this settings button right here next to this arrow. To the button. Right here. And you are going to open that up. There's going to be a seed number. That seed number is basically the identity to the picture that you put up there. You're going to lock that. Because when you lock it, it's going to try to put out an image that's as close to you as possible. If you unlock it, then the WIST tool is going to have fun. And we don't want it to have fun at all. Okay, yeah, we don't want it to have fun. Okay, all right. So precise reference should already be on this toggle. 
But if it's untangled, just click and toggle. Yeah. And the seed is basically um, the reference of you. So it's telling the tool, don't go trying to make me look like Whitney Houston. Make me look like that picture. Right here is where you're going to put what you want your pictures to be doing. For the sake of this class, you're going to put in a prompt that says post. And I'm going to drop this in the chat, the middle of the garage. I don't know where you have yours at. So you can add things like pose confidently. Um, you don't have, you can erase that. I'm going to post this in the chat and you can paste this. This is the prompt that you're getting ready to hit the arrow on to tell it where you want these two people to be together. So next, what you're going to do is we're going to generate the photo. Okay. So everybody can go ahead and hit the arrow. Look at mine. You see, you know, so far. Boom. Put me in front, right in front of the front garage. Now for me, it doesn't have my glasses. So I would, in usual stance, um, I think I already have her pulled. I will process it again. So I would just run it again until it gave me my glasses. So, and again, if you don't like your picture, you just edit it. Like I said, with that one, I just told it to reprocess. Y'all saw how it didn't have my glasses. I just told it, put my goddamn glasses. Did you go? I do some other prompts just so y'all can see. Uh, not that you ain't lying. They put that arrow between my a fool. I'm ready to make them talk. So we'll go with, let's go with her. So the next step, once you have your picture, hoover your mouse over your picture. If you don't have it hoovered, you won't see it. Hoover your mouse over your picture and you're going to hit animate. Once you hit animate, it's going to bring you to another screen. Now you're going to tell it what you want it to say. Oh, I'm assuming, let's assume everybody in here has a business and you're using this video to do promotion for your business. The first thing you need to think about before you decide what it's going to say is what are you trying to sell? What are you trying to sell? We're not, we not just making videos, you know, just for fun. Well, yes, we are. We could make videos for fun. But for the business owners, are you trying to sell something? So think of the thing that you're trying to sell. These videos that are getting ready to get made, they are eight seconds. So we're going to ask ChatGPT for an eight-second script to sell blank. So you're going to paste that inside ChatGPT. And where the blank is, you have to put what it is you're trying to sell. Where it says tone, insert your, insert your tone here, you have to add a tone. Do you want it to speak like a 20-year-old spicy girl? Do you want to speak like a 64-year-old auntie? Do you want to speak like a 27-year-old Chicago native? Do you want to, set, to sound like a big sister? Um, if you've never been to ChatGPT before, it is an open AI model tool that works to think, configure, and create things based on you asking this stuff. So I'm going to paste the link. Now, you don't have to go to ChatGPT. If you know what you want this thing to say, you don't need to go to Chat. Chat is going to be an extra thinking model for you if you're like, I don't know how to sell. I'm not sure exactly what to say to make people buy my thing. You're going to enter two parts, what you're trying to sell and the tone because the tone matters because AI has an attitude. So if you don't put a tone, she going to sound real spicy. ChatGPT for an eight-second script for a video promo to sell hair bundles. Ask ChatGPT for an eight-second script for a video promo to sell real estate. Ask ChatGPT for an eight-second script for a video promo to sell my boutique clothes. Ask ChatGPT for an eight-second script for a video promo to sell my nail services. And then you're going to include tone, and you're going to put your tone. The tone, big sister vibe, or public speaker. Whatever you want the video to exude when people watch it. So you're entering two things, what you're trying to sell and the tone that you don't you want it to have. If you can't think of a tone, ask ChatGPT. Say, hey, watch this. Say, hey. Um, I need some tone ideas for my promo video. Similar to Big Sister. Energy and um, Gen V. And let chat give you what well, I know what I mean. Let chat give you some different tones. And then you can pick one. So it's giving you, you would just take that part. 
and you would enter it in. So you got Street Smart Motivator, you got Chicago Auntie, you got Tech Bestie, you got Clean Professional. Take the prompt that I pasted in and go to chat and you paste it in. And then right here, you're going to include, I'm going to say my free AI class. And then I'm going to erase the tone and I'm going to say big sister energy. That's the same thing you're going to do and erase the last. So you're entering something right here for what you're trying to sell and you're entering right here the energy you wanted to have. Once you have that, you'll hit go on chat GPT and then it's going to give you the script. You don't have to take the scene because you already made the scene inside of Wiz. So all you're going to do is take the prompt, right click it, copy it, once it gives you your prompt, this is what your what's, what your video is getting ready to say. You're going to right click it, copy it, and you're going to go back to a whisk and you're going to paste it in. So this is the whole thing that is right here. Okay, y'all. So everybody, we're going to hit the black button, black button, yellow arrow, and we're going to generate the video. I think it's because I'm on Zoom. Let me redo that again. So from there, that's where you begin to edit. For instance, she said Chile, that's supposed to be child. So because she not able to say that, me, I will take that out. Also, don't care about tones. You sound a little mean. So then I can add in tone, sweet, big sister. You have to refine. That's when you edit. Do you want to change the clothes? Do you want to change the background? Do you not like how she talk? And then... If you want to make a commercial out of this, so because each video is eight seconds, if you want to do three videos, they usually give you like, I want to say three or five um, generations. I'm not sure. what It's a free trial um, or you can pay, of course, for these sites. You can take each video. So say one video is like, come on down to uh, Brother's Barbecue. Uh, well, we don't put no sugar in our barbecue sauce. Say that's your first video. And your second video is located right off 39th and Cottage Grove. Soon as you make that left turn, that's your second video. Then say your third video is, we got catering packages for under $500 for over 300 people. You would take all three of them videos you made in Whisk and you would just put them together in CapCut. Because I like to run stuff through after you get it so your brain can go, oh. So I'm at home, y'all not on my screen. I'm getting ready to make me, make me a video. I'm going to even play me some music. And you could walk it in your head too. Like she finna click this, she finna click that. I'm a big rapper, big fan. I want to take all about 
And then I will hit generate and then I will be done. <laughs> 